What's going on, everybody? Just uh, checking in here. Like, why am I in my basement? Well, I wanted to give you one. Hold on, they got my whole home gym. There's my dumbbells in the background. I just wanted to give you a little bit of an update uh, of my first week of prep done so far. Um, right as I was talking to my coach and kind of getting everything squared away that I was going to work with them, I had established some macros right away of about 275, 280 grams of carbs, about 220 grams of protein, 50-ish, like 55, 60 grams of fat. I had done that automatically just to kind of get myself back into tracking and see if I had a little bit of weight loss. And then this was the first full week. So I started at 197 and a half when I checked in with my coach. After the week and a half between me kind of setting my own and then him readjusting me, um, which he started at a... Uh, 255 grams of carbs, 220 grams of protein, I think it's like 55 grams of fat, if I recall off the top of my head, on a training day. And my refeed is just the same numbers, except I have 285 grams of carbs, which I actually just did today on Saturday. So with all that being said, I'm actually down to about 192, 192 and a half. So I'm down about five pounds already. If I sound a little hoarse, it's because I'm under the weather. Of course, because, you know, everybody's sick. So instead of saying home, what they'll do is they'll shake your hand and, you know, you know cough in your face and make, oh, well, I have a horrible head cold. Well, why the fuck didn't you just stay home? Um, or better yet, not shake my hand or come anywhere near me. Like, just inconsiderate. But anyway. Um, so the first week of prep went really, really well. I've done no cardio whatsoever. Um... He's writing all my training protocol, so I'm actually trying some different things which are interesting for me. Um, due to the fact that I do like to squat, the biggest issue that I constantly have, um, especially as I start to break above 315 or try to squat heavy, are that my knees hurt, my hips hurt. Um, it's just not, squatting and I have never been best of friends, but it's something I insist on doing. It's not causing me any severe pain, but it's just like my body kind of moans about it. So. We changed some things up in which I'm usually starting with a uh, pre-exhaust of some sort or a movement beforehand, like a leg press. I even did something interesting today where I did leg press and hip thrusters. Nothing better than a man sitting in the better middle of the gym, you know, pumping a bar up to the ceiling. It's quite interesting as everybody stares at you. Now I know why the ladies want private rooms when they do things. Um, just interesting. And now when I go to squat, I can't necessarily squat as heavy, but my movement pattern is way better and I'm really, um, I don't have like a lot of the tenderness or some of the things that I had going on uh, in my knees and my hips post uh, workout. So I'm kind of enjoying this new way of doing things. I might stick with this permanently um, for the rest of my life. I mean, it's just right now it's working really, really well. Um, things are going good. I feel good. Um, it felt like I've never really left. The minute, I mean, like literally the minute I decided to go into prep, it's been like right back on the bicycle. I've had no issues tracking. I've been on point. Um, it's been like, it's just easy. It's, it's so simple. I, maybe just because I've done it before, but it was like, oh, it wasn't hard to get back on track. I was like, no, literally I finished my day. The next day I was back on prep. It was like I never left and I just didn't move forward. Once again, excuse me because of the cold. But I think I'm also retaining a little bit of water because that I'm all like congested. So I may even be lighter than the 192 and a half that I thought. So with the, the five pounds, I know everybody's like, well, usually you like to lose about a pound a week. Um, aren't you moving a little fast? Don't you usually like longer preps? I do like longer preps. I, I would prefer 24 plus, maybe even 30 bare minimum for me. However, after speaking with my coach and seeing the current conditioning that I'm in, if you follow my Instagram, you know that I don't Photoshop any of my stuff. Let me repeat that. I don't Photoshop anything. Um, the vascularity and graininess that you see is what I have. I was at most 100, you know, I, I got up to 197 and a half. So that's 26 pounds over my last stage weight over the course of three years that I put on. So I was nice and lean. And, um, you know, I think with where my metabolism is after working on it uh, the past three years and <clears throat> how lean I was able to stay in the off season, prep's never gonna be easy, but I think I can do this in 18 weeks. So with that five pound loss, I know I'm kind of like all over the place, but with that five pound loss, it basically now puts me in track to do 
about a pound a week all the way into the show, which I think is good timing. Um, I know probably in the beginning it'll be a little, a little faster as we get towards the tail end. Um, it always, like, everybody's body stalls towards the end. Um, I don't think anybody's that fortunate. My goal weight, we think is around 175 to 176 to be like fully conditioned. But who knows? I may get to 178 and I may look phenomenal. I may not. We may need a couple extra pounds. But I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to do it. Whatever that takes. Like I said, I'm not going to worry about the scale. I'm going to worry about how I look. And we're just going to give what my body takes me. Um, goals May 12th. I'm not backing away from that. I'm going to give it everything I have to hit that show. I'm going to do it as a surprise entry. I'm not telling anybody I'm in prep. I'm not posting it all over Instagram. I'm not going to post any progress shots about it. I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to tell anybody. I'm literally probably going to show up the day of the show or the night before to register and then just do it. Um, I'm kind of doing it as a surprise and nobody knows that I'm coming. I don't want anybody to know that I'm coming. Um, you know, I've done a lot of these things where I've done all this and at the end it was just like it was more hassle for me to sit there filming everything uploading everything telling everybody i was doing it everybody was saying they're going to show up to my show and then in the end the same people showed up which was like my wife and one other friend mainly my coach so i don't feel like hyping it i don't feel like um getting myself all psyched about it i'm just going to do it i have surprisingly i'm as calm as they come i'm not nervous at all I'm mellow, I'm focused. Um, actually, every workout, even with a little bit of congestion I've had, has been pretty good. Um, and it just feels like I now have a purpose with every workout where I'm just versus just showing up and training. So I think it's good. I think it's all going to work out great. Um, I would say ask me some questions along the way, but you're going to see this after the fact. <laughs> but feel free when I do post to ask questions below. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoy this um, little secret prep. I'll talk to you guys soon.